So we're here at a diagnostic for a Lennox EL180. Uh, this is trying to fire up and we'll see what happens here. So inducer is going. Our igniter is now glowing. We got that orange glow, we heard the click. And then we hear a couple weird clicks and the igniter just goes out. It's our diagnostic code. We got 11 blinks. So we're gonna go to our guide here. 11 blinks says pressure switch stuck closed prior to activation of combustion air inducer. Okay. It's kind of odd that it would go through the entire process uh, before telling us that though. So let's see. So we're gonna go to continuity. We're gonna take the pressure switch hose off. Let's see if it's stuck closed. It is not stuck closed. That should be a, a constant beep, right? That means it'd be stuck closed. Now let's go an extra step and let's check voltage here. So if it's stuck closed, we should get what? Zero volts across and we have 24. So that's telling us that it is not stuck closed. Now let's hook it back up and see what we get. Igniter, that weird kind of double click, and then it's gonna do the exact same thing. So, obviously, we got something else going on. Our pressure switch is fine, it is not stuck closed, so now we have to inspect a little further. Um, igniter goes next up, should be the gas valve. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check voltage on the gas valve and see what happens, because that's where we get that weird click. It sounds like it's coming from the gas valve. So we're checking. We got that weird click and we got zero voltage to the gas valve. So uh, typically when you, know, you have a circuit board telling you that it's a pressure switch or something else, that's not really it. That's gonna lead me to the circuit board, but we wanna check absolutely everything possible before we just come to that conclusion. So, like I said, that gas valve is kind of being a little weird. So I wanna take the wires completely off the gas valve, just bare, and we'll see what we get when we hear that click. We got a steady 24 volts. All right. So that's why we want to check everything because uh, that doesn't look like a circuit board anymore. That looks like we have a faulty gas valve um, that shorted out, backfeeding voltage, doing something funky that's not allowing the system to turn on. A uh, cool little cheat that you can do is you can hook up a contactor to the same wires and listen for it to close. Boom, contactor closes. So that's showing us 
that uh, circuit board is doing the job. It is sending the proper 24 volts. It's closing the contactor just fine, but for whatever reason, it's not doing that to the gas valve. So that's showing us that there's a problem with the gas valve itself. Cool. A uh, contactor is a super simple switch, just like a gas valve. It opens and closes. That's pretty much it. So it's a done deal, right? At first it said that there was an issue with the pressure switch. We verified that was not the case. Uh, we took the hose off so it shouldn't be open or shouldn't be closed and it wasn't. So that's out of the way. Circuit board is telling us that there's a random issue that's not truly there. Kind of leads us to the circuit board, but we want to go order of operations, check everything, right? Inducer's obviously working, pressure switch is working. Next up is the igniter, igniter's doing its job. Right after that, it's a gas valve. And that's where we heard that kind of weird click as well, which made me a little suspicious. So checked out the gas valve and it's gonna be a bad gas valve. So from here, we'll just shut the gas off, get a new gas valve in, get it uh, ordered up, and then we should be good to go.